Hey everybody, if you've been looking for a super cozy upstate home, then I have the property for you this week. Hi, this is Chelsea from the Upstate Curious team of Keller Williams Hudson Valley North, and I am going to show you 317 South Maplewood Road in Monticello today. This is a super cute log home. You have three beds, two and a half baths, and you're on almost five and a half acres. It's 5.47 to be exact. So I'm gonna swing you guys around and we're gonna take a look and then head on inside. All right. So just coming around here, you have this adorable log home. Perfect for this fall season. It's nice and chilly out here today. It really feels like fall. Love it. And then coming around, you'll see my car, you have this U-shaped driveway here and these really big, beautiful pines um, that are giving you a lot of extra protection from the road. And just coming back around here. And now we'll head on inside. This home is 1,632 square feet with an additional 600 plus square feet of finished basement space. All right, so coming into the home, you enter into the living spaces. Just imagine how cozy this house is going to feel with that wood stove burning in the winter time. You have these nice, big, really pretty trusses that are all exposed and hardwood floors. This home has been impeccably well-maintained it just feels super solid and well cared for. You have this nice big window right here so you can look out into the front yard and then coming back around. We're gonna head down this hallway. This is where the three beds and the first two full baths are. So I love the rafter details there. And these walls have kind of been like whitewashed a bit Decent sized, good closet, and then coming back down. This is the first full bath. So nice and bright. They have this skylight up here, which brings in a ton of natural light. It's really nice. And then you have a big shower right there. Coming around. And then the second bedroom. A bit bigger than the first. Again, each one has a nice closet. This has views out into the backyard, which we'll head back there in a bit. And then coming through, this is the primary. So the primary is nice and big. It just feels so warm and inviting in this house. There's a nice big walk-in closet right there. I'm just going to swing you guys around. And then this is the private ensuite. Nice glass shower right there. All right. Now we can head back down the hallway. I love how open and airy it feels. Again, there's skylights here, which are really, really letting in a lot of natural light, which is really nice. You have, you're probably hearing the noise of the fish tank if you're wondering what that noise is in the background. Um, you have the doors here out onto the back deck. You have a nice spacious kitchen right through here. So it's great, you can make meals, enjoy them inside at your table or super easily take them outside and enjoy them on the back deck, which we'll take a peek at right now. So this is the back deck. Very pretty, nice and quiet. That's a cute little playhouse right there. Um, a nice fenced in garden with raised beds. You can see everything just goes back to that tree line. Again, you're on 
5.47 acres, almost five and a half. Um, and then just coming around like this, we'll head back inside. Um, we'll take a bit of a tour downstairs and then we'll head out into the backyard. So this is um, a doorway that leads you to a very large storage space. That space, wow, can't talk this morning. Um, that is above your garage. So you have an attic in the, the main part of the house that we were just in, but you also have the, that great walk-up storage space. And then you have a two-car garage here, which really nice and big, plenty of room for your things. There's a lot of storage spaces in this house, which is great. All right, and now I'm gonna show you guys the real bonus of this property. Um, it's a finished basement space. So we're just gonna take a quick peek down here. So this is just a closet. You have a nice laundry room right here, and then it opens up into this really nicely finished basement. Um, ceiling heights are pretty good. I want to say they're, they're probably about eight feet. Um, I'm just going to bring you around here. So you have like this whole media center right here, and then over to the wet bar. And then you have a half bath down here. Just a little half bath. Everything you would need. Through this door is the utility room. There's a nice big workspace. And as well as like a small music room, which I'm sure if you're not a musician, you could find another great use for that. So a lot of usable space down here. Again, a lot of storage space. All right, we're going to head back upstairs, guys, and I'm going to take you out in the backyard. Okay, coming back around here, show you the back of the house. You have a lot of space back here. You really can't, like that's kind of the only smidge of the neighbor that you can see. And I think that might be a garage or some other type of um, not primary residence structure. But you have so much privacy back here. The woods back in here, lots of pines. So you don't have a ton of like underbrush. It's really, really beautiful. Um, and then you have these cool, like larger stone outcroppings here. So just overall, really pretty, really quiet, serene, upstate vibes here. Um, I'm gonna spin you guys around and we'll say our goodbyes. All right, thank you so much for coming on the tour of this super cozy, cute log home. I love a good log home. Um, there's just something so warm and inviting about them, especially considering the seasons we're about to go into, the fall and the winter. It just feels so appropriate. Um, not only is this just an absolutely adorable house, but you're also in a really great location here in Sullivan County. You are um, 12 minutes to Bethel, the town, and then you're 18 minutes to Bethel Woods Performing Arts Center. So you're gonna see a lot of concerts. Um, while you're here, it's gonna be a super easy drive to get there. You're seven minutes to Broadway in Monticello, which has restaurants and shops. You're 23 minutes to Mountaindale. You're 24 minutes to Livingston Manor. Um, you're 33 minutes to Allenville and then you're 47 minutes to Stewart Airport. So if you need to catch a flight, it's an international airport, so that's very convenient. And then maybe best of all, you're only 90 minutes to the George Washington Bridge. So if you need to commute, if you need to go into the city, very convenient to do just that. All right, thanks for coming on the tour with me today, guys. I hope to see you here this weekend. Bye.